Do you wanna be able to use your business email with Gmail for free? Stay tuned. What's up everybody, Todd Welch here from the Entrepreneur Adventure and today I'm gonna to show you how to register a business domain name, create an email address and then use Gmail for free with that business email address. Normally if you wanna use Gmail with a business address it costs something like $5 per month but in this video I'm gonna show you how you can do that for free. Now down below I'm gonna have an affiliate link for Bluehost, which is the hosting platform that I'm gonna to use to register the domain name. If you wanna use that, awesome. If not, no problem, you can register your domain anywhere. Bluehost is just the company that I use to host my websites and domains and emails, and they work great, they have great customer service, and their price is very good as well, so check that out down below. Also click subscribe and that little bell to get notified of more videos just like this one. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so to set this up, the first thing you're gonna need, of course, is a domain name. So you're gonna already have to be registered with a domain name and also have some kind of hosting package for your website or whatever the case may be. If you don't have a website or domain name or anything yet, I recommend using Bluehost. Bluehost is pretty inexpensive. They've got really good support as well, and it's very easy to get started, create a website, and get your domain name and everything else. So I'll put a link down below, an affiliate link to Bluehost, so you can register through that. It would be greatly appreciated. And at no additional cost to you, I'll get a small cut of that when you register and sign up for that. I've already got an account here, so I'm just gonna show you how I create an email address inside of Bluehost after I have already registered. All right, so once you're logged in and registered, you're gonna get to a page that looks something like this. Now, if we click to email and office on the left here, it's gonna want us to sign up for either Microsoft for five bucks a month or Google Suites, Gmail basically, for $6 per month. But we're not gonna do that. We're gonna use Gmail for free. And what we need to do is create an email address for free in here, which we can do. We just have to click on advanced and then scroll down here, click on email accounts and we can create our email here. So I'm just gonna make it my name, todd at entreeadventure.com and we can give myself a password and we'll just leave this storage space at 100. We're not gonna use the storage space here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then we're gonna go ahead and click create. So now you can see we have an email address here. We're going to need some information here to be able to retrieve this email inside of Gmail. So I'm gonna click on manage and then click on this connect devices to get the information that we're going to need. And really any of these will work to be able to get us the information. We want pop three is what we're going to be using. So it's gonna bring you to this page, then we can scroll down to the bottom here and this is the information that we need to be able to connect this email account to Google. All right, so now I'm gonna jump over to Gmail. Just go to gmail.com and we're gonna create an account here. So to click that blue button in the upper right, go ahead and fill out your information here. It doesn't really matter what your username is here on Google, so just pick something. I like to put my business name in there if possible and then create your password for the Gmail account. Click next. Enter the verification code that they text to you. So you needed to enter a cell phone there. And we'll hit verify. Um, you can put a recovery email address in here if you'd like. I would recommend doing that, another, your personal email or something, just so you can get access to this account if you forget your password. And then you can go ahead and fill out the information with your birth date and everything else. I never put in accurate information because they have no reason to know that. 
And this is asking if you want to receive video calls and messages. It's up to you if you want to. I'm just going to skip that for now. We'll go ahead and agree with the terms. All right, so now we are into Gmail right here. So now we need to add in our business email account so that we can send and receive email through our business email account. We do that by clicking the little gear over here and then go to settings and we can go to accounts and import and here we want to check mail from another account so we're going to click add account and enter our email address i'm going to put this in two windows here jump back to our information so here's our email address put that in there and we're going to leave it as pop3 click next your username is going to be typically your full email address and then the password is the password that we set up before and then your pop server which is going to be right here incoming mail to entrepreneurventure.com which it had already had it in there correctly um, then the port is port 995 this you do not want to check leave a copy on the retrieved message server because we want it to pull it off and delete it from there because that location only has a hundred megabytes where gmail has a lot more storage space for us so we want to pull it off of that server um, so do not check that I always use a secure connection so that no hackers can get access to it. If you wanted it to go to a specific label or anything, you could do that here. That is the same thing as like folders if you're used to Outlook, or you could have it skip the inbox, but this is just gonna be our default email. So the only thing I would check is secure connection, and then we can click add account. And yes, I do want to be able to send mail as that email address as well. So I'm going to click next. Put your name in there, however you want it to show up. I usually do first name, last name, comma, business name. And you can leave this checked and then click next step. And this is where we want to enter in the SMTP information, which that's our outgoing server. So let's go ahead and copy and paste that over here. Port is 465. The username is, again, your email address, and then the password that we set up for that email address. I leave it on SSL, that should work fine, and then click Add Account. All right, and so the next thing that it's gonna do is it's gonna send us a verification code to make sure that we actually own that email address. So we're gonna to have to go back to Bluehost here and log into that email account, or actually it might even come through right here. Let's take a look here. Yes, we did get it to come right through Gmail because we added to receive that email here in Gmail. So we can just go right to Gmail, grab that confirmation code, and verify that. All right, so now we can send and receive email from our business email address in here. And just to verify that, I'm gonna log into one of my Gmail accounts here and send a message to our email account. So I'm gonna send to our new email address there, a test email. And while we're waiting for that email to come in, if we hit compose here, we can select between toddentreadventure at gmail.com or todd at entreadventure.com. So you can send from your business email. Now, it's defaulting to this email, so we probably want to change that to default to our business email, so we don't have to change that every time. So if we go back up in here and go to settings one more time here, accounts and import, we can click right here, send mail as, make default. So now if we hit compose, it is defaulting to our business email address to send from. And if we go back here, let's see if that's coming through yet. And now we can see there came my test email, 
test, test. So it is good to go and working. Now, this is a really good system to use your Gmail for free with your business email address. The one downside that I found is that it doesn't check the pop three or check your business email all the time, constantly like a normal Gmail. So if someone sends you an email, it'll typically take about one to three minutes for it to come in. If you wanna speed that up, you can click this refresh button up here and that will typically get the email to come in sooner, but that is really the only downside. Otherwise, everything else can be used just like your Gmail email address and you do not have to pay for Google Suites to do it. So that is it. That is how to create a Gmail account and use your business email address with that for free. I really hope that helped you out there and allows you to use your Gmail for your business email address. If you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe and that little bell to get notified of more videos just like this. Also, I'll put a subscribe button right over here and some other videos that you might like right up here. So definitely check those out as well. I appreciate you watching. This is Todd Welch with Entrepreneur Adventure signing off. Happy selling, everybody.